have been asking and you want to see every single board that I own. This is my official penny board collection, but it's also a two-parter. Wow, we are now in Minnesota and this is part two of my collection. There's like three kind of parts because they're just all over the place because I have a bit too many. Right now, I am in Connecticut. This is where I currently reside. Because I moved halfway across the country, I wasn't able to keep every single board with me. So we are gonna be talking about the boards that I have here, boards that I kind of started with, and then boards that I acquired continually. So for those that might not know the full story, during COVID is when I started getting back into boarding after having trying to do it in when I was a little kid and then trying a little bit when I was in college. And during the time, my mom found this bad boy on Facebook Marketplace for like 60 bucks. So we got it and this is the very first board that I started riding in quarantine during, this is basically like four years ago. So this board is pretty dope. It's pretty special to me. It's a urban airship type board. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty kind of on this just from all the use. And the wheels are mega fat. They're like these huge gumballs. So riding through pretty much anything with this is pretty sick and I really enjoy it. I also really enjoy riding barefoot on it. And I actually did make a barefoot video with this on my other channel, Tyler Rossman. So this is the board that definitely started and paved the way for my boarding adventures during 2020 and then continued on. So this one definitely has a special place in my heart. This was my first official penny skateboard, 22 incher back four years ago during COVID in April 2020. This board means a lot to me. I remember I got it and it was like 110 bucks and you can now actually get it cheaper. But this board is the National Park version. I've ridden it a lot. I've taken it with me a lot of places. It is near and dear to my heart and I still rock it. I still love it and is still my all time favorite board. The next board is the 29 inch Penny Surf Skate. We also found this, I believe on Facebook Marketplace, somebody was selling this brand new. I don't know, whatever retailing it was at the time, we got it for half the price, which was pretty sick, pretty dope. And I've definitely rode, ridden this a number of times and I've had a couple of friends ridden it because it's just a lot of fun. And I've definitely had a lot of enjoyment riding it just because it's so different from the other Penny line. Because of the waterborne adapter, you can whiplash and go super crazy, kind of like you are aggressively turning in like surfing. So that is something that's been really Really fun to use. I definitely use this board less than the other boards just because I don't know, I just don't use it because I just, I know I really enjoy cruising and this isn't really a cruising board. This is kind of like a fun with friends board. So if I'm with somebody, I really like to take this out because it usually really excites them because they've never really seen a board like it. When I was living in Arizona during the pandemic, soon after, I started getting into penny boarding. I decided to get the 27 inch nickel board, which is this bad boy right here. And I decided to go with the Andy Davis collection, not the person from Toy Story, but Andy Davis, the actual artist, created this graphic, which is also the same person that did my longboard graphic. But this one also means a lot to me because it's my first 27 incher that I've ever had. And I wrote it a lot during my time in Arizona. So during that period of time, this board and I had a lot of writing as well. So just from nostalgia, I've been writing this for nearly four years. So again, holding a lot of place in my heart. The next board is gonna be the 36 inch Penny Longboard. This thing is really sweet. I love the design. And that's pretty much why I got this specific one. I really wanted to try all the Penny boards on their lineup and I like it, the colors just in general. I love the wheels, they're really sweet. This board definitely rides differently than my wooden long board. It has a different feel, not just because it's plastic. I do think it's a little bit slower than my other one. So if I'm trying to go for speed, I'll go for the other one. If I'm trying to just like go slower, casual, more low key, chill, I'll definitely rep this one out. But yeah, this one I've ridden on grass. It's really fun to ride downhill on grass. I really like this for that, which is just kind of crazy and weird. But this one, I've definitely ridden a, a bunch. The next board I wanna talk about is gonna be this Palatian 22 inch cruiser board. This is basically an alternative version of the 22 inch skateboard. However, this is actually probably my favorite alternative that I've ever gotten. Little quick backstory on this. Palatian is a company that reached out to me during sometime around June to August, 2020, when I started creating more of my content for riding. And they wanted to basically 
basically just give me a free board and hear what I have to say. I decided to make a video about it and take some photos because why not? I thought it was kind of cool because I've never been sent anything by a company yet. So this was the board that I got and I was pleasantly surprised. It was one of the first alternative penny boards I ever got. And this one is really awesome. It's like 30 bucks or so at the time. I have no idea what it is now, but the design isn't just a generic replica of it. The design on the actual deck itself is not the standard honeycomb. It actually, to me, looks like a pokeball. That's like a diamond. That's kind of what it reminds me of. So obviously it's similar. However, the way it feels to me is different. And I just really have enjoyed this board. So this is probably my fake knockoff that I have. And and if you want to know a fun fact on the Amazon webpage of this board to this day is a photo of me holding it. So that's kind of funny. If you want to check out the link of it on Amazon, you can see my hand holding this board in Arizona. Fun fact for you. Next up, we are going to be talking about this one, the last longboard on the line. This is a land yachts board that I haven't really ridden yet. This is something that I also really got obsessed with just with the entire boarding kind of world. I really started noticing longboard dancing and I there was a period where I just got really into it and my mom actually got me this for my birthday which was pretty dope it is a beautiful watercolor kind of backdrop and I really like this and everything about it is just super sleek and it is the longest board by far and because it's a dance longboard the middle of it is just wood with uh, kind of like the furnishing on it and then the tape is actually on the sides so this is where you can kind of like turn and twirl and do spins and stuff like that yeah it's a beautiful board and I'm, I am really excited to rock it. Now, the last board that I have here is gonna be my 32 inch penny skateboard. This is the actual one that replicates a traditional wooden skateboard the most with a noticeable tail and nose. Actually, this is the nose and this is the tail. Well, I think I got this board in like 2021, but this board is probably a board that's cool, but I don't need to write it as much just because of my style. I don't usually do tricks as much anymore. During during the pandemic when I was in Arizona, I did skateboard tricks every single day. I had a 32 inch skateboard and I was learning how to ollie and learning how to do a bunch of other stuff. And I did that every single day because I was actually more into skateboarding than I was penny boarding. I got this board because I'm like, whoa, that's kind of cool. I can like penny board, but also do my tricks on it. That's pretty tight. So then I got this and I wrote it and it's really smooth. It's the trucks were insanely loose. So having tightening them, it's written a lot better, but I do enjoy this board. This is a good commuting board. I just it's probably one of the boards I use the least amount. I have shifted away from tricks and more so ride for just the pure love of cruising and that's pretty much it. So next up on the list, we'll talk about the two last little boards. I'm pretty certain we also found this one on Facebook Marketplace for very cheap and it is in great condition. I have ridden this one a number of times as like an extra board. I definitely honestly forgot I had it because I feel like I have so many penny boards. Still an official legit 22 inch penny skateboard and it still feels and rides exactly the same. And then the last board on the lineup, this is a bait knockoff. It's called High Bounce. That's the company that made it, but it's got a cool jelly bean design. And this board we got for free, no way. Yeah, we found this one at the park and we were like, whoa, somebody just left it. And I was like, I wanna take it, but we gotta be nice. And obviously like if I left a board at a park, I would want it back. So basically we just left it there for a number of weeks three four weeks go by and like nobody takes it or like came back for it so i was like okay it's been a long time i'm just gonna take it because clearly the owner of it doesn't care that much about it so then i took it and rocked it and this is a board i like to bring when i was abroad on my cruise for my birthday so i went to like cayman islands and cozumel mexico and jamaica because i got it for free and it's a fake penny board i don't mind if this one gets like lost or stolen or like falls off a cliff or something. Yeah, it definitely rides a little bit worse than penny boards because knockoffs typically do. These are the boards I have with me now. And I do have more. I have all of my traditional skateboards. So my Johnny Bravo one, and then we have a number of ones from like random things. Like we got them a skateboard at Goodwill and we got another one maybe from Goodwill. And then there was one that we had since we were kids. So like that was the ones that are there. And then the original plastic ones that I started that got me into penny boarding during COVID is also somewhere so the total number of boards that I have is kind of undisclosed. 
but as you can tell, it's definitely a lot and unnecessary. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see anything else or if you wanna know anything else about me, drop a comment down below. As always, my name is Tyler Rossman. Thank you so very much for taking time out of your watch. It really is me a lot. Catch you on my next adventure. Peace out, happy cruising. Watch out.